guys, it's Andy F from greenwise.co.uk and today I'm just going to be showing you how to install RAM to your PC. I have two modules here. I have a 2GB module and I have a 1GB module. Okay, and I'm just going to be showing you how you can um, install this on your PC. It's very simple, but pretty much just slot in. What you need to do is make sure that um, the RAM you get is compatible with your motherboard. Okay. For example, you can't mix um, ECC, that's error correcting code, RAM, with non-EC RAM, ECC RAM. Okay, so now I'm just going to take you over to my sh machine and I'll show you where it goes in. Okay, here's my system. As you can see, the uh, RAM slot, the slots for RAM are right here. Okay, there's four of them. There's two yellow ones and two black ones. The black ones are a bit harder to see, but right there, okay. Um... Um, you need the like one of the biggest factors in deciding uh, what type of RAM you purchase is compatibility. Okay, you need to make sure that your motherboard is completely compatible with uh, whatever module that you purchase. Um, I'm running Asus P5 QL EPU motherboard, and the RAM I have here, I have a one gigabyte module and a two gigabyte module. And they're both 800 megahertz and 240 pin, and um, they're non ECC, okay. And ECC is basically error correction code or error correcting code, and um, you can't mix non ECC and ECC. So that's another thing. Make sure you don't mix those two together. So if your um, your the RAM that you currently have is ECC then don't try to install a non-ECC module, okay? And also, remember that while RAM does boost performance because the more RAM you have, the more data you can handle at any one moment in time, um, you need to also remember that your graphics card and your processor, they are both um, just as important because you could have a very fast processor and uh, 8 gigs of RAM but if you don't have a graphics card, or at least a very good graphics card, then you might, then you won't be able to run your game. That's if a game has detailed or advanced graphics anyway. Or if you have um, a lot of RAM and a good graphics card, but your processor is very slow, then it's going to run very. It's going to be pretty slow. It's not going to run quickly or smoothly. Okay, so remember when you're building a PC or upgrading, remember that every component counts, and don't. If you have a very slow processor and a bad video card, then don't think that because you install an extra 4 gigs of RAM, your computer is going to go a lot faster, because it's limited by how fast um, or how powerful your processor is. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to install it now, but first off, I'm going to touch the metal chassis of the um, machine, just so that I discharge any static from my body. Okay, because even a tiny amount of static can uh, completely short circuit your motherboard and then you're gonna have some serious problems okay so um you can't get an anti-static wristband but to be honest you don't really need one you can just so long as you know that you're grounded like i'm just going to touch the uh, metal chassis of the system and that'll discharge any static in my body and i'm just going to take the two gigabyte module here and i'm just going to line it up with the slot okay Oops, that just slots in, lines up, and just push it down until both of these click in. Don't be scared to apply a fair amount of force. It does take a reasonable amount. Don't go over the top, obviously, and break anything. But don't be scared to apply a little bit of force if it isn't going straight in there. Oh, and also, if you're applying a lot of the force and it isn't going in, a lot of force and it isn't going in, then um, make sure that you have it the right way around because one side is smaller than the other, okay? So be careful of that, so you don't break anything. And here we go. And just push it in there until you hear a snap and see if the pins come down. Okay, and now it's installed and it's as simple as that. I can now just boot up my machine. Oops, I've moved my screens out of the way. And as you can see, it's just booting up as normal. Okay, so I hope that helped. Um, have a nice day.